All right, so what's up everyone? Alex here from the superstudentprogram.com and today we're going to talk about morning rituals and my new morning ritual. So not, not too long ago, I posted a simplified 2020 rule from Robin Sharma, uh, a morning ritual. Um, and since then, my morning ritual has evolved a lot. What if you could achieve more success, more happiness, more fulfillment on a daily basis? What if you could do that through morning rituals? Now that's something else, right? So with this nearly 11 step morning ritual, if you can follow through on this or create your own or modify it to the type of days you're having, um, let me tell you that your success, your happiness levels and your emotions are gonna reach another level in your life. See, most people start the day being reactive and not proactive, hence the, the importance of a morning ritual. So when you implement and do your morning ritual, you're doing what most of the population is not doing. Most people wake up and they're reactive. They're like, oh, I'm tired and all these idiotic things that, oh, this, I'm just too tired, I can't do this, I can't do that. When instead of being reactive, if you can be proactive in the morning, your life is going to 10x just like this. So to jump right in, uh, the first step to my ultimate morning ritual is to smile. I just, when I wake up, I smile. What, what does smiling represent? Um, it basically represents that you're happy just for being alive. I mean, it's a new day and an opportunity to spread your gifts and to live a better day. Um, I mean, people aren't conscious of this. They're just conscious of the fact they gotta go to school and they never really appreciate and the day that they have. And to add to that, there's some science behind smiling. Uh, when you smile in the morning, you're already activating some of your muscles. So you're smiling and you're already moving your muscles. You're already activating the blood flow in your body. All right, so step two is to drink some water. More specifically, I drink roughly 250 milliliters of water, so a quarter of a liter right when I wake up. Our bodies are 70% water. Did you know that? 70% of our body is water. And when you wake up, you're massively dehydrated. And I don't know for all the fit guys out there, but when you wake up and you go in the mirror and you look more ripped than you usually do, it's because you're dehydrated. Hence the importance of drinking 250, at least 250 milliliters water right from the beginning. So you want to make sure that your water is cold and that you add some lemon into this. What, what this is going to do is it's going to alkalize the water and it's going to be more good for the activation of your body's uh, functions. All right, so step number three is to complete a two minute stretching routine. So once I've drunk my water, I smiled, I get out of bed and I complete a stretch routine. I stretch, I go down to my knees, I go down to my toes. I stretch to activate my body. Because when we wake up, we're all, we're still like, our bodies are like all bunched up like this. We need to stretch it out and activate our bodies. So starting the morning off with a bit, little bit of stretching is gonna activate your blood flow and keep you from being lethargic later on during the day. So step four is to complete 20 minutes of exercise. I once heard that Tony Robbins uh, explain that three things change our state, how we feel, more importantly, how we feel in the morning. Movement, language, and your focus. One of the most, well, I think one of the, personally, the most helpful one is movement. So getting outside, going for a run, even if it's cold, even if it's raining, all this kind of stuff, activate your body, move around, use your muscle, get some energy with um, exercise. So you might do a 20 minute workout, get a skipping rope, or go for a run. All right, so step number five, one of my favorite steps in my morning ritual. Um, whenever I have only 50 minutes to complete the ritual, this gets in. Uh, so that is your incantations and affirmations. So this can go into multiple steps. So first of all, you have your mission statement. You wanna say out loud your mission statement. So my, my mission statement is I, Alexander. So you say I your, with your name. See, know, hear, and feel that the purpose of my life is your mission statement. So you wanna say that out loud with energy and you wanna end off saying yes with this palpable energy that's gonna put you on this, this emotional high. Um, next, you're gonna have your four power virtues. So 
four emotional states that you want to encompass what's your life really about. So for me, my four power virtues are I am disciplined, I am enthusiastic, I am confident, and I am determined. So I say them out loud with energy and passion. And as always, I end off with a yes. So I really implement it into my cells. So after that, you have your life values. Basically, what do you want your life to be about? And for me, I have five to 15 roughly values. And basically, how do you want to say your values are, I, Alexander, see on here and feel that I am, you're gonna have your values. So one of my values is knowledge. I love to read and I wanna be a never ending constant learner. So one of my values will be, I, Alexander, see on here and feel that I am knowledge. So you wanna say those over and over again, and you're really gonna implement it into your mindset. Last but not least, you have your empowering beliefs. These are more broad sayings or sentences with no I, Alexander, blah, 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 blah. You don't have any of those. It's basically um, sayings that are gonna counteract your disempowering beliefs. So for example, if you think that you can't get a 90% on your test, one of your empowering beliefs is gonna be, I am capable of having 90s all the time. You say it over and over again, at some point you're gonna believe it. And as you know, 80% of success is your psychology and only 20% is the mechanics. So as Tony Robbins said it, one of the third ways that you can change your life and change your state is with questions, with your focus. So the sixth step to my ultimate morning ritual is with questions. I ask myself six to seven empowering questions every morning that are gonna change my focus from grumpy to um, being focused on what's really important in life. So one of my questions is, what am I happy about in my life right now? Another one could be, what am I grateful for in life right now? What am I looking forward to right now? What am I proud of in my life? What am I committed? What do I love? Who loves me? Those kinds of questions which are gonna change your focus to more positive output. So the next thing I do is I review my weekly goals before I get into the daily planning. So what this does is it is increases my awareness because sometimes we set goals in life but we don't review them, so we don't even know if we're making progress. So when we stop going after them, we don't even realize it. So that's where that reviewing my goals every day is what a part of my ritual. So I get to have the awareness and I look and I see, okay, I'm not doing this right now. I gotta put focus on it today, which is why I review my goals. So one of the other reasons I recite my goals out loud is that it makes me believe that I can achieve them. Jim Rohn once said it that you should set your goals, say them out loud, and believe that you can achieve them. Then set out to actually achieve them as if you already had them. All right, so step number eight is to set your daily objectives and plan your day. So this is the most important part of my morning ritual. Um, it helps me save 10 minutes for every minute spent planning, as Brian Tracy says. It. So my method for daily planning is RPM, results, purpose, massive action plan. This is something created by Tony Robbins with his rapid planning method. Uh, this has changed my planning life. It's increased my productivity so much. Uh, so what you're gonna do is open a document on Evernote and you're gonna write basically one of your monthly results or yearly results, three reasons you wanna achieve it, so your purpose for it, and then your massive action plan for that day. So for example, if one of my goals is to have an 85% or 90% average for the term, you're gonna have three reasons to achieve it, maybe to go to a better university, to increase my average, and to have actual proof that I get grades would be your reasons. Your massive action plan would be review, science package, uh, go over history, documents, that kind of stuff. Number nine is to read a growth book. So once you've planned your day, you wanna get up and go read a book. So what I've currently been reading is The Student Leadership Guide. Uh, which is one of the best books I've ever read, so I highly recommend you read that as part of your growth book reading in your morning ritual. So finally, we finally get to eat our breakfast, but there are a couple of things I need to say about your breakfast. Number one, you wanna keep it simple, not too complex, and you wanna have lots of fruits and vegetables in your breakfast. So most of the time what I do is I have a protein smoothie. It's got good fruits, it's got the protein, and basically everything, I need no surplus of grains, or all that kind of stuff. So make sure that your breakfast is as nutritious and healthy as possible to take on in the day. So one of the things that I've lately implemented into my morning ritual is the highest leverage task. So out of your RPM planning, 
What you're gonna to wanna to choose is the highest leverage task. So the hardest task that you have to achieve for that day. So I would give myself 15, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how much time I have, to complete that task in the morning when I have the most focus and the most mental energy to do it. So you might not feel like completing a morning ritual, but believe me, it will change your life. So my greatest wish for you is that you commit to this morning ritual at least for 30 days. A lot of you might be thinking, oh, I need my sleep, I need my sleep, I need my sleep. But this morning ritual is going to give you 10 times more energy than 30 minutes of extra sleep would. So if you usually get up at 6, get up at 5.30. I challenge you to do that. Um, I even woke up at 5 a.m. during the summer. You might call me crazy for that, but hey, I felt more energized than anyone else. So sacrifice a couple minutes of your sleep and give yourself the gift of a morning ritual and change your life.